Hi, this is Rich Auerbach from our studios here in Hollywood, Florida. And I want to welcome you all to a new year and to a new show, One on One. Interviews with CIA members presented for other CIA members. And we hope you enjoy it and we hope it becomes a series that you all look forward to seeing. At the end of the show, there will be a special offer open only to CIA members. So please watch it, have a nice new year, and see you at the next show. total love and the supporting of the arts in South Florida, uh, which I have done for over 20 years and then here I am now, all yours, so CIA is for you and for me and for everyone that's interested in saving the arts in South Florida. Judy, you're doing a brilliant job, let me tell you. Oh yeah. The only thing I want now is for you to do your little bio for the camera. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, first off, um, my uh, stage name is Judy Scott. I'm originally from um, Durango, Colorado, which for those of you who don't know where that is, it's 350 miles southwest of Denver, Colorado. And um, my father was in the sporting goods business there. My whole family was throughout the West. And when I was uh, eight years old, the family moved to Denver, Colorado. Going to Denver, Colorado, I started to sing with a little kiddies band. We became the hottest thing in Colorado. I was eight years old, and uh, the leader was 11 years old. <laughs> and all these, uh, uh, we played every big event that you could imagine. And then I had my own little television show in, in um, uh, Denver. And when I was 17 and graduated, uh, high school, I had an opportunity to go to New York with a, a band by the name of Ralph Flanagan. I don't know if you've ever heard of Ralph Flanagan. No. But he was he was pretty big at the time. It was towards the, the end of the band era. So he had a, a song called He Belonged to Me and um, uh, I forgot what they had. Anyway, I went to New York with him, stayed in New York for the summer. I was going to go back to Colorado and go to college. And I was discovered by Jerry Lewis. The yeah. Jerry the Lewis. The Jerry Lewis. And the next thing I, I know, uh, he had auditioned over like 300 and, uh, girl singers to open for him in Las Vegas at the Sands Hotel for the first opening without Dean Martin. And uh, I got it. It was like winning American Idol. And I had never sung in a big nightclub in my life. I had uh, only done, uh, you know, regional things. And it became a big break for me. And uh, throughout the years as a result of that, I was, became Buddy Hackett's opening act for over 25 years on the East Coast, Don Rickles. I uh, recorded for every major label. And I, I worked every major uh, nightclub, including the Fountain Blue, with Jerry Lewis the first time he was without Dean Martin. Uh -huh. Now, were you with the Fountain Blue at that time? I don't think so. No, not, not, <laughs> you're not that old, right? <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't think so. No. Uh, well, that was the time he did Bill Boy. Right. So if you were around at right. that time when he filmed Bill Boy. I was Boy, still living in Puerto Rico. Then. You were still living in Puerto Rico. All right, so that's kind of the story. So I've, uh, uh, throughout the years, I've, uh, you know, married. I was married. Uh, I was a widow. And uh, then I met my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful husband, who I'm married to now for 18 years. Hi. <laughs> and uh, we moved to Florida about 10 years ago. And, uh, and I can vouch for that lovely relationship. Yeah. We, we live really in the same building and we share oh, the elevator yeah, right. many times. I tell you, women, do not give up hope because... No, no, no. <laughs> the same thing happened to me when yeah. I met Dr. Yeah. Bernie Simmons and yeah. uh, you know. it was the love of my life.
hello. How are all my CIA members today? I hope you're feeling as tip-top as I am. Uh, we have a special offer that is being offered only to CIA members, and I want to take the opportunity of sharing it with you. Richard Auerbach, who is on our board, has a wonderful company. He's been doing all our videos for CIA uh, since he's been a member of our board. And uh, very, very great rewards. The only thing that I missed the opportunity was photographing my video of the interview with my husband prior to his uh, leaving this world. And uh, we had planned to do it. Richard already had come up and gave me the manuscript and his papers and everything. But unfortunately, my husband became ill and I didn't have a chance to exercise our wishes. Um, Richard is making a very, very special offer. Anyone that uh, makes the memoir video will be receiving a donation to CIA in their name for just using his services. Knowing Richard and what he's accomplished for us and what I missed out on for my dear departed Bernie Simmons, uh, I, I want you to think about it. And even if you don't have a loved one that's leaving, how about yourselves? So your children and grandchildren can show it to their children whom, and your great-great-grandchildren and they'll have a, a memoir of you, their great-grandma, their great-great-grandma, their great-great-great-grandma. So I think that might be a, an inspiration for those of us that want to preserve the memories for our uh, wonderful uh, families. So think about it. Contact Richard, and I'm sure he'll be able to fill you in on more details. Looking forward to seeing you at our next meeting. Don't miss it. I want to say hello to you. Bye-bye.